Hello friends. Meron nili tayong interview today and Marla, please introduce yourself. Hi, good evening or uh hi everyone. I'm Marla. I'm Marla. Um uh, I've been uh, with uh, the group uh, ever since uh, bago pa mag uh, I think that's a uh, year 20 uh, if I'm not mistaken it's 2014. Uh, I've known Miss Mela and the uh, other groups and the uh, other acquaintances na supporters ni ng mga Marcoses and I've been an avid supporter ever since. So Marla came actually from the word ano eh, martial law. <laughs> I was born in the year 1972. Uh, mm. Kaya yung first letter, first three words na ay letters ng mar, ma martial mar. Tapos yung law L A kaya Marla oh. dun ako nakalain. <laughs> Oo. Ayan. I'm a, a Marshall Lou baby, kaya Marla. <laughs> parents ko pala, supporter talaga ng Marshall Yes, hmm. yes. And uh, currently, uh, nag-work ako sa isang fitness industry. I'm in the fitness industry. Tapos, uh, I'm into health and fitness. Of course, uh, marami ako nakakasalamuha. And then, you know, uh, really, ano, uh, more on uh, a fitness enthusiast. Uh, mm -hmm. on all ano, walks of life. Mm -hmm. Ayan. And Marla, ang purpose talaga natin, I'd want to know why you support the Marcoses. Oh yes. Um, I grew up uh, basically hearing about uh, the Marcos regime. I was uh, mm -hmm. nung, nung time na yon, and uh, really kasi yung family ko, I've been hearing things about you know the Marcoses, the good things. Um, Actually, yung isang uh, tito ko from uh, a, a, a mayor in Isabela in Sullivan, it's a close friend of uh, Ferdinand Marcos before. Uh, talagang yung lolo ko na yun, parang close sila. Tapos uh, he've been going there in Isabela. Um, and I have uh, actually talagang ano, uh, loyalist yung family. Uh, siguro yun sinatawag na Solid North. But it doesn't really necessarily mean kasi na pag sinabing Solid North, uh, alam mo yon naka naka focus lang sa Marcos we always of course uh, see the good things in everyone hindi naman tayo yung tipong wala nang ibang magaling kundi yung mga Marcoses it's just so happened that uh, we are really ano uh, we admire at saka we love the ano the Marcoses because uh, of all the things that they've done uh, sa bansa natin na alam ko of course I grew up and uh, that's what I'm aware of that's what I have learned from my parents my relatives so yon uh, siguro masasabi kong lumaki ako na ano na yun ang naririnig ko sa family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, may candidate tayo ngayon si BBM for president. Are you going to support BBM? Yes, definitely. Uh, I will be supporting uh, Bongbong Marcos for uh, 2022 presidency. It is because uh, for me, I believe, ano eh, I, tinitignan ko kasi uh, lahat ng mga candidates. It's not, yun nga sabi ko na hindi porke loyalista ako, uh, hindi ko natitignan yung capabilities ng mga ibang uh, candidates. I always weigh it down naman. So, tinitignan ko. It's just so happened that um, I am not satisfied with uh, mga plataforma, yung mga plans ng ibang candidates uh, in being the president. And it's only Bongbong Marcos na Talagang nakita ko yung, uh, he's the person who has a vision uh, on what he really wanted the Philippines to be five, six years from now, even ten years from now. Alam mo yung, uh, and I could feel, and I believe na ano eh, um, yung sincerity nandun, um, it's, he's not running actually for himself alone eh. Parang he's running because he really wanted to serve the Filipinos. He really wanted the... Uh, uh, to make the Philippines great again. And that's what I'm yearning for ever since. Eh. Uh, noon kasi natatandaan ko, I was in uh, siguro mga high school or ano, na lagi kong pag sinabi kasi, dati mga tita ko na pag sinabing Filipino, they're very, really proud of being a Filipino uh, nung part na yon. So I really wanted to feel that, alam mo yun, yung pride of being a Filipino again. And mm -hmm. I could always hear that in the voice of Bongbong Marcos. Uh, every time na magsasalita siya about the Philippines, yung vision niya, he want, what he wanted the Philippines to be, ramdam na ramdam ko yung sincerity niya. Yung as if, you know, uh, 
kapag nagsasalita ka, nag, na-envision ko yung, oh, this is what he really wanted as the, yung Filipinos to be in, in the future. So, at malinaw. Kapag nagsasalita siya, malinaw talaga yung gusto niyang gawin for us. It's not, it's, he's not running because of somebody else. He's not running because uh, he wanted to fight or, you know, uh, kasi tatakbo si ganyan or uh, anything na ganon. Uh, what I always hear from him is that he really wanted to unite and uh, make the Filip- to serve the Filipinos again. To make the, and that's, uh, alam mo yun, um, sis, uh, yun ang matagal ko nang gustong ano. I, I actually uh, started to feel that uh, during this last regime. Kahit pa paan, I, I, I've been proud of what uh, the current uh, go- uh, government has done in the mm-hmm. Philippines. Yung, uh, now kasi medyo, uh, of course, sabi nga ni, ni Aimi, di ba? Not all ano presidents, not all administrations are perfect. There's always flaws, ika nga. But uh, you can always weigh kung ano yung the good things that they have done. And uh, for me, uh, I believe that this uh, government has uh, done much more than the flaws itself. So I always uh, admire uh, yung mga ano nangyari. And uh, the good thing is Bongbong Marcos is really, I could see na si Bongbong mismo has also admired what has uh, been uh, de- done during this regime. So sabi ko, uh, he's the kind of president that I really want who sees the good things in every administration. Hindi kasi siya naghahanap ng ano mo yun, yung ng mga pangit. Kapag may binabato sa kanya, uh, kibit-balikat lang, shrug lang niya, tapos uh, then focus lang siya so gusto niyang mangyari. I- hindi mo siya mariringgan ng kahit na ano na ibabato sa iba. Ang gusto lang niya is to be heard. Parang ganun. Gusto lang niya to give uh, uh, the people to give him a chance to serve the Philippines again. Kaya nga, every time nga na may ano, na, ugali ko na pag sumasakay ako sa grab or may nakakausap ako, uh, sino po yung magiging presidente ninyo? Lagi yung tinatanong. I don't campaign, but I hear, gusto kong marinig yung feedbacks nila. Gusto kong marinig kung bakit yun ang gusto nila. And most of the time, siguro, ratio 10 out of, uh, out of 10, siguro, isa lang yung marinig kong hindi BBM eh. So I've been very proud. Hindi ko declare na BBM ako at the start. I just wanted, bakit po? Ganon. So nakikita ko na even millennials now, uh, in my in my you know, in the company that I've been working with, medyo millennials to eh. Oh. Dati kasi pag tinatanong mong mga younger generation, palagang uh, against sila sa Marcos. And it's it really surprises me now na Yung mga millennials ngayon, pag sa BBM, so I'm just so ano, happy. Pag, pag tinatanong ko bakit, um, it is because uh, they have uh, research. Kasi syempre, na-curious sila eh. Who is BBM? Why is so much, uh, alam mo yun, bakit anong meron at ayaw nilang kumupo ang Marcos? So the tendency is, sino ba to? So they, they uh, ano, research, oo. Oh, oh. Tapos nalaman nila, na, yung mga nagawa ni Bongbong yung... Um, his credentials, his uh, education, performance as a government uh, a servant, nandun lahat na hindi naman napapublish sa social media. Eh. So all you have to do is, uh, lagi ko silang encourage, okay, if you're not with Bongbong Marcos, so ganun, uh, lagi ko sinasabi, okay, I, I respect that. But uh, of course, you wanted to know your opponent, sabi ko. So uh, if you would, uh, if you would, if you don't mind, uh, I would request uh, a few minutes of your time, sabi ko na, kilalanin si Bongbong Marcos. So I always give them yung bongbongmarcos.com uh, na nandun lahat yung profile and lahat ng ano ni Bongbong. Lahat like yung binibigay yun. Please take time to get to know Bongbong Marcos. And if the end, kapag nakita mo yun, we name mo at ayaw mo pa rin siya for president, that's fine. But for me, look at it. Lagi kong sinasabi sa mga mga hindi, pag narinig yung hindi Bongbong Marcos, I always tell them, please get to know him first as a person, yung ano niya, kasi hindi yan, hindi nalalathala lahat ng nagagawa niya mabuti. It's all there. So sabi ko sa kanya, uh, sa kanila lahat. So, uh, yun. so definitely, I will be supporting Bongbo Marcos. Um, and I will be campaigning for him. Uh, I will, in a campaigning in a way na alam mo yon. I would respect others, of course, yung, yung gusto nila. But I would encourage them always. I will encourage everyone to get to know him. And uh, para makita niya, yung kung sino ba talaga siya na among all candidates for me is the most ano qualified 
siya yung talagang dapat na mamumuno sa atin. It's because of yung ano niya, vision and plans change the Philippines. Uh, and uh, I really felt that yung sincerity niya, uh, yung, yung uh, the love that he has for the country, uh, I could really feel that uh, personally. That's uh, the reason why uh, siguro hanggang ngayon, uh, hindi na alis yung, yung pagiging Marcos, uh, you know, uh pagmamahal ko sa Marcos because I see uh you know yung mga ginagawa nila sa atin. Okay. I can feel talaga na, na nasa kalooban mo what you're saying. And by the way guys, uh, we're ending this interview and please don't forget to subscribe para mapanood mo niyo lahat ng mga susunod na mga interviews natin. And thank Uh-oh. you Marla. Thank you. Bye. At saka sa mga manunood na ano, na siguro sa mga manunood na hindi man na uh, hindi pa bongbong, uh, I I really encourage you na give time, uh, short uh, no, short time to get to know him. Uh, visit bongbongmarcos.com. Okay. Thank you. Bye.